radioactive tests. Okay, back in Germany days, um, there were radioactive tests. There were a couple accidents with radiation, and so because of this, um, it was known that radiation was bad. Um, so what was done is um, is they set up they would set up a nuclear reactor sort a radioactive source, a highly radioactive source, and they would have it shielded, right? They would put this in the middle of the, the, well, first they built walls, square walls. Do, 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 do. And they used different kind of paneling on the walls. The walls were concrete or brick. And, and what they would do, and the walls were straight, leading long ways um, away. Although, this also led to a problem because radiation, I think what they did, oh, that's right, they did a gimbal setup. So where, so where, um, the animals would be led in like a like like a couple hundred feet to the radioactive source, and then um, and then the radioactive source the, the radioactive source would be removed. The people stood on the other side of the walls. There there were there were like three or four walls on this side and three or four walls on that side with different shielding, steel and whatever shielding. The people would stand a thousand feet off to one side, off to one side, and they would. And they would pull the, the they would re pull up the the source to remove the source to expose the animal. And there were different animals, I believe, on different sides of the walls. It was it was a test to see how far how much radiation would go. And the animals were exposed to an hour's worth of radiation, five minutes of radiation, days of radiation. Um, what they would do is they would remove the source and let and let and let the reactive source irradiate the animals. Okay, and then they would drop the cover back over the source. Um, the source would be would be was was mounted on a pole in the ground, and then um, and then a rope system would pull the, uh, the the things up, and the animals would 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 be leashed to their pole positions um, by the little collar, and I believe the the people would then quickly go in, unchain the uh, the animals, and then the animals would be taken off to another spot you know, into, into a pen, and they became very highly radioactive, of course. But it was to measure and see what the effects of radiation really was on a human body. Even though they said that, that, that with the shielding on the reactive source that, that it was safe, I still mandated that people only spend an hour or less um, around the source, uh, even with the shielding on. I didn't, want my, I didn't want to expose my people, and I wasn't sure or positive that the shielding on the reactive source was truly shielding all radiation from the reactive source. I was like, we think it's, we think we, we, we can tell what's coming off this radioactive source, but we don't know, I said. I said, we think that lead stops everything, but we don't know. Um, and so it was a very, very careful source where, where workers would, would, spend, would spend X amount of time generally around the reactive source, and then they would spend a month inside of what, what was considered a rest camp and they would be watched and monitored for, for about a month to make sure that, that they were in fact clean of radiation and in fact had no ill effects from the radiation or being around the source. This was conducted in a place uh, where there were like three or four walls. I left a picture on my site um, which, which decrypts the, the, basic, the basic event of it, um, which is basically a pole, a radioactive source, a shield cover that went over it, that removed and exposed the world and the animals to this radiation. And they measured how much, how many thick walls it would, um, the, radi the radiation actually went through. And how safe it was to be on one wall versus two walls versus three walls. And then they tried different combinations of, of wood covering walls, steel covering walls, and what the effects that that had, you know, as far as how much radiation was soaked up and how much got through to the, to, to the animals and how much actually the, uh, the animals were affected. There were no, there were, there were, there were supposed to be no people ever endangered or, in, or, or, or hurt during, during, during this experiment. Um, the people were, the only time that the people were around the source was for a very limited amount of time and the source was shielded, of course. Um, it was a very controlled test and they found that the, that the, that the, that the, that the callers um, on the animals were getting much more radioactive than the animals themselves. It was the first um, radiation experiment, really, large-scale radiation experiment, you know, in exposing animals and, and, and objects to radiation. And it was un done under very controlled circumstances. 
the people were more than a mile away. The rest camps should have been more than a mile away or more away from. <laughs> I was like, I was like, build it on the other side of a mountain. <laughs> Like, here's, here's the camp, have a mountain, on the other side of that is, is where the rest camp is. You know, it was like super, 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 super controlled, like, like, like over cautious. It was extreme caution. I was, um, I did not want anyone hurt in the making or, or development or study of radiation. I was being super cautious. The, um, the, 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 the control experiment with the shield supposedly blocked every little bit of radiation. It was a really, really thick lead-lined case. And, um, and, and with, with the covering on it, it would have, um, there was no obvious signs of radiation uh, coming off of it. But still, I wasn't, I wasn't satisfied. I wanted to be, I, I, was, I was still even extremely cautious over that because I was like, well, we think, but we don't know. So even with what they thought was safe, People were still only allowed to be around it for hours or minutes at a time. I was like, run in, do it, and then get out. <laughs> I was like, I was like being super, super, I was being like extreme caution, you know, with, with radiation. Radiation had, had already cost the lives of a lot of people, and I was being over insane cautious with it. Like, like, like incredibly cautious, you know, and so... People were kept inside of camps that were considered rest camps, and yes, they were probably scared, and yes, I'm sorry for that, but I was being, I was really scared myself that that, that, I, was gonna, that, that I was ordering people, you know, into a dangerous situation where they would eventually die or become sterile or something horrible, horrible would become, so that's why all that. Um, and it was extreme, extreme, extremely controlled, extremely careful thing. And they found that the, the, the metal objects were becoming radioactive, but the wood was not, and the rope was not as much. So that's what was going on then. And, um, and the pictures of the walls and stuff, that was a project, you know, involving radiation. And there was a radioactive source in the middle of, of, of the walls, and the people were to the side of the walls. So the walls would be... Because, you know, if you have a reactive source here and the particle is just going to go out, you know, so if you have a rope down, you know, you, you know, with nothing protecting the person. So pulleys were made when, when they, they also did experiments where they walked animals past the reactive source and around the corner. And, and in that experiment, the people were way away, a thousand feet away that way, you know, with the walls protecting them. And supposedly no radiation was, you know, the walls stopped the radiation from getting to the people. It was an extremely careful experiment, um, and I was just being overcautious, which you know I had learned in the past was the right thing to do because if you're not overcautious, then the next thing you know, you have two thousand people dead. Um, somehow, some sixty thousand people had died at some point, and there was a mass grave built because of it, the world's biggest with five thousand people, but that was just the, the last five thousand. There was like 35,000 and 65,000, I think. It was a lot of people. It was way too many people had died from either plague or radiation. And um, they had to be buried in one spot because they were radioactive. And that's what happened. So, and it was radioactive probably for a thousand years. I don't know. It was a long time. It was too long. It was a very, very big, very, very, very painful mistake that I blame myself for later on. So... Anyway, that's what happened with that.